Welcome back. I'm Jace. I'm here to help you get the best that you can out of the NPQ events and course. In this particular one, we're going to be looking at the face-to-face -face event, or for some of you who are unable to attend, uh, a virtual distance learner activity. Most of the time, uh, your provider should be able to uh, provide you with a recording of an event. If you're unable to make it, please just be professional and courteous. Let them know as far in advance that you're unable to attend so that they can make provision. Uh, that also goes for people like myself who are presenters or facilitators of these things to be able to prepare uh, the amount of resources and materials for everybody so that all can participate. The first thing to, to keep in mind with these <clears throat> with these face-to-face uh, -face events, this is going to be your opportunity of finding others, perhaps even your cohort or across the UK, who are going to be uh, participating on that particular course. So please go in with the attitude of you're going to be meeting some new colleagues. Also go in with the attitude that you're going to be making some new friends. The reason being is you might be sitting at a table or you might overhear a conversation with somebody who is working on a similar project as yourself, and maybe you want to link together some resources. If you do, again, remember, it is purely up to you as to whether or not you wish to exchange information. Nobody can take that information and send it out under general data protection regulations. So if you wish to, to link with somebody, you know, that that belongs to you as your responsibility and your right. Um, however, you know, I do know some people who have uh, connected with each other as far north as even Cumbria to London and have achieved things together by sharing idea, sharing best practice, sharing experiences uh, and, and helping each other, even to the point of improving their inspection results by having a critical friend with another set of eyes looking at the same thing. Also, when you go to these uh, to these events, you know, please bear in mind it is professional yet confidential. So whatever is said there, um, just just keep it professional in line with the expectations, especially for those of us who already have an NPQ that we've earned, or for that matter, are pursuing a higher leadership NPQ. We want to be a good model. Uh, for others around us, especially a good model of professional communications. When you're discussing certain things at your school, please don't use people's names. Uh, you know, try to keep things as anonymous as possible, especially when it comes to matters of child protection. Um, you might be looking at a case study, which is purely fictitious, or uh, as an example, if it is from a real life incident, I can assure you for uh, data protection and child protection and, and uh, uh, safeguarding purposes, all identifiers have been removed. Make sure that you do the same thing uh, when you have these discussions with other people. Go in there by all means with, the, with a wide open mind. Um, and bear in mind that you're going to come across a variety of personalities. This might be a, a first impression for you uh, when you meet new people. Uh, I have had candidates come back and say, oh my goodness, there's this one person from such and such who loved the sound of their voice. <laughs> Is that what you want people to think about you? You know, don't, don't hog a conversation. Share it with other people. Uh, yes, I get it. You know, quite... Quite a few of us will be extroverts and you know alpha types that want to just get things done, and you know we see ourselves in our career. Make sure everybody has a place at the table. Again, these events <clears throat> can be held in somebody else's school. Whilst you're in that school and, and you see something, have a word with the head of that school or the deputy head of the school. Ask specific questions, saying, you know, look, this is something I've seen. Tell me about it. What was the what was the reason behind this initiative that I've that um, I, I've heard or something that I've seen inside of the building? What was the data behind it? What was your evidence? What was the impact in this? You know, we should be proud of our schools and our organizations that have 
done something that's actually making a positive impact on the lives of the children of the school, the communities in which we serve, uh, and our colleagues who have done the work to make it happen. So please, by all means, when you're in some new school and you see something that's of interest to you, take the time to ask. How often do you get the opportunity of leaving the institution that you work in and having an opportunity to go and observe some really good practice that's happening elsewhere? Uh, impressions, they do matter. On your way out the door, please thank you, presenter, for doing what they've done. They have taken the time to, to prepare appropriately. Uh, and it's just nice from my side of the screen, I can assure you, it's nice for people to say, Jace, I really appreciate that, uh, especially if they've taken the time to make things a little more interesting and humorous, because we all know what it feels like to sit for hours on end um, as part of professional development. So again, just try to leave on friendly terms if, if possible. Once you go back uh, from the face-to-face, -face, be reflective. Go immediately back to those learn that and learn how to statements and think in terms of what did you just experience? Which of these LTs and LHTs have been reflected through the learning that you've just uh, engaged with? And likewise, any of the reading that you've done prior to that, which there will be reading you need to do prior to it. As you've come in prepared, think in terms of what LTs and LHTs do I see in the reading that's here? There will be a variety of these face-to-face -face events uh, throughout the course of your NPQ journey. Please try to join them as quickly as possible, get the best out of them. But again, if you can't attend, people understand, just email your provider. Cheers for stopping by. If you have any questions, as always, jasonheat.org is my website. Feel free to ask me. Uh, and I'm happy to help you in any way as possible to make sure that you get the best out of this program and that you succeed. Your success is what I'm interested in. Cheers for stopping by and look out for the next videos, which talks about the ethical principles in leadership behavior.